In this video, we're going to use Excel to calculate the mean and standard deviation and some other statistics about a set of data. Now, what I want to show you first is how to install the Data Analysis Tool Pack if it's not already on your computer. And you can check to see if it's there by going up on top under the Data tab. Just click on Data. And the Data Analysis Tool Pack should show up over here in the top right. You'll see there's nothing there. That means I need to install it. So I'm going to go over under File, and you may have a different version of Excel where you would click on the, the Windows icon instead of the, the File button. Um, but under File, we have down at the bottom Options. And in the options on the left hand side, there's an option called add ins. And we're going to click on add ins. And you'll see Analysis Tool Pack in the list is one of the available options. This is not the screen where we add it, though. We have to go down to Manage Excel Add-ins at the bottom of this screen and click on Go. Now we can add the Analysis Tool Pack, and it's the first one. So I'm going to click the box for Analysis Tool Pack and click OK. Right, and now you can see we're in the data tab up at the top and over here on the right we have data analysis. So that means it worked and we can move on with doing um, some calculations with Excel. So I'm going to enter a list. Uh, the trick to Excel is entering lists in columns. Uh, it tends to be easier to do things than if you enter them in rows. Uh, you can put uh, labels at the top of columns. And I'm going to use the same list that I used in previous videos about the mean and standard deviation. So my list is entered in a column. Um, to do the simple statistics, which is called descriptive statistics in Excel, I'm going to click on the data tab, which is already selected. So data is selected. And then on the far right, again, we're going to select data analysis, which is the tool we just installed. So you'll see lots of options here that we can choose from. The one we're using today is descriptive statistics. So I'll select that and choose OK. And now we need to fill out the items in this box. So we're going to start with input range. Input range is where your data is located. There's two ways to do this. You can click on this little mini spreadsheet in the box, and that will make that box disappear. So you can select your data. And I'm just clicking and dragging to highlight the data that we need. And then you go back over and click on this little tab again, and it opens back up. Um, you could also just simply highlight uh, the range without clicking on the little box first. Uh, the second thing is grouped by. It can be columns or rows. Uh, typically, columns is the default, so that's why I entered the data in columns. I have a label weight change in the first row, so I'm going to click on this box that says I have labels in the first row. And for your output options, output range means the output is going to go on the same spreadsheet that you are on, and then you can choose where to do that. New worksheet ply, if you look at the bottom of your Excel spreadsheet, there's different sheets. 
If you chose new worksheet ply, it would put it in one of these other sheets. And if you were to select new workbook, it would open up a completely new Excel file and put your output into that. Uh, I typically like to use output range. And you select that and then click in the box so that the cursor is blinking in that box. And then you can select anywhere on the spreadsheet that you already have open for your output to show up. So I'm just going to click up here in this cell. Uh, keep in mind that your output is going to fill up cells going down from the cell you select and to the right. So make sure that you have enough open space so that it will fit. The other thing you need to check is summary statistics. That's going to give you values for your mean, median, standard deviation, and others. And later on in the semester we'll be doing something called confidence levels and we can get confidence levels in this descriptive statistics option as well. Uh, but we'll skip that for now. So once you have your input, labels, output range, and summary statistics, just click OK. And Excel will calculate all that um, statistics for you. And there they are. So you can see that everything's kind of mushed together. So we can just go up and see my cursor in the, the letter boxes up here. If I highlight or choose the line between two and drag it over, um, I can spread out the words so that you can see the full word. So the ones that we would be interested in right now is mean, and it's 1.89, just like we got in uh, using our calculator or uh, the long way of the equation. Uh, median of 1.5, so that's also the same as before, a mode of minus 2, and the standard deviation of 4.06. Okay. These other numbers in here, most of them we won't use. Uh, minimum and maximum might be helpful for you at some point. The sum is just all the numbers added together. The count would be your sample size or little n. Um, so there are some other values here that you might use, um, but mean, median, mode, standard deviation are the ones that we are learning about right now. And that's it for using Excel to do descriptive statistics.